launch. My name's Roger Gagne, and I'm the founder of Climate Plan Alberta. Climate Plan Alberta is quite simply a chorus of voices in Alberta that are saying our province needs a strong and credible climate plan. Some people say, uh, well, what, am, what are we signing on to? It's not up to me to, to dictate what all those elements of a plan would be. All I do is simply direct people to the recommendations from the Pembina Institute. They're the experts on this stuff. They came up with some recommendations of what a robust and credible plan would look like. The website simply says, we need a plan for Alberta and what we have doesn't measure up. The website has a range of signatories already. It's uh, 58 businesses, 18 nonprofit associations, and three faith groups. The week before I started the website, there were a thousand climate scientists worldwide who took part in civil disobedience, trying to raise people's concern about the crisis that we're facing. We've known for decades about climate change, like the former CEO of Meg Energy said a couple weeks ago, we've known about this for decades, but we've done very, very little about it. I've been an activist for decades. I spent nine years volunteering for the Calgary Rainforest Action Group. I spent six years in citizens advocating use of sustainable energy cause. In 2009, I saw a presentation by two guys from the Peminence who were talking about greening Alberta's grid. And that sort of focused my attention on, on energy. And in 2012, I started a website called Carbon Conversations. You know, whether they were a believer or a denier of climate change, I wanted everyone to have a sense of being heard. I did that for a year and a half, and, and I only had 380 responses. So that was disappointing after a year and a half. First of all, climate change is getting worse. You know, Ralph Klein said two years after leaving office, he said, never in my wildest dreams did I ever think that global warming would become such a hot issue. It keeps keep turning into a hotter issue. We have droughts, we have wildfires, we've had horrible floods, so it's getting worse. Yesterday I was at a restaurant and there was one fellow who said, back home in my hometown in India, it was 47 degrees Celsius last week. The woman behind the counter said, where I come from in the Philippines, it's 51 degrees. Climate change is getting worse, we know that. And at the same time, what's happening to our favorite exports in 20 years? Alberta is in the top six crude oil exporters in the world. We're the 11th larger exporter of natural gas. And we are head and shoulders above every other province in our emissions. Science shows that fossil fuel combustion is sort of driving climate change. And so, you know, Canada, about 30% of our emissions footprint comes from the oil and gas industry. And we have strong ties, obviously, to oil and gas here in Alberta. We have a responsibility. We have an outsized footprint when it comes to emissions here in this province. And so anything we can do to sort of reduce that helps to make an impact globally. Last year, there was a, an organization called the Foreign Policy Research Institute based in Philadelphia, and they said, the day may come when Vladimir Putin is called Putin the Green, the man who convinced Europe to get off fossil fuels. Poland doubled their installation of heat pumps. Germany produced something like 57% of their electricity with renewables last year. Europe as a whole cut their, uh, their use of gas-fired power plants by 15% last year. So there's all, the, all this acceleration of the energy and transition, and who is gonna buy our product in 20 years? I worry about that a lot. We believe that climate action is important, and so a climate plan for Alberta is essential. The future that we leave for our kids, it shouldn't be left up to them. We would like to take action on their behalf and also for ourselves. I have nieces and nephews, and what's Alberta's economy going to be like if we keep on ignoring this and kicking the can down the road? I don't want my province to be irrelevant in a changing world that is moving away quickly from fossil fuels. We believe that the Earth is God's body, the Mother Nature we call it. Our first responsibility from Scripture is to cultivate and take care of the Earth. 
And so it means that we pay attention to the earth because it sustains all of life. Climate change is an issue that affects not just us here, but vulnerable places in the world. God's body is calling out aching and breaking, and we're called to heal and nurture the body. At the same time, I think that there's a lot of appetite in Alberta for it. I know lots of people in the oil and gas industry who are very smart people who read the science, they understand what's going on, and they want to be part of that transition. The fossil fuel industry and oil and gas do have impacts here in Alberta directly on sort of ecosystems and, and wildlife and our water. So uh, all of these things are connected and that's why we, we signed on for climate plan. So the longer we let this slide, the worse and the more frequent these sort of natural disasters are gonna become. These are big changes in the world. It's like, it's like the Titanic changing direction, but no one dreamt five years ago the ship would be changing direction as fast as it is now.